What's up guys, it's your boy Ty Skates here and today we're playing Car Extra Racing Online. In today's Car Extra Racing Online video, I'll be showing you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the Carnage 7C. Now we do have a lot of other tunes on the way, but I just thought I'd drop this one off for you guys because it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and get right into it, man. If you guys do not know where this car is, this is a class 5 vehicle. You can find it all the way down here. It's going to be right here, as you guys can see, between the Nomad GT and the Voodoo. Once you have that car, go to your mods, equip the ultimate mod onto the vehicle, and then go to body kits. I don't currently have a body kit on here, but let me go ahead and throw one on. So I like this body kit right here. That's kind of cool. Only thing is I might have to adjust the suspension just a little bit so it'll fit. All right, so that's pretty clean. Now, before we get into like the actual build, let me just go ahead and customize this car really quick. If you guys want to run the same things that I run on the kit, go ahead and do so. But I just want to show you guys real quick. Now, I know a lot of people have asked for this car in the past, and I never really, like, brought it out. So, you know, I just want to go ahead and drop this on you guys today. No cap. All right. <clears throat> All we need is a shift knob, handbrake, and then we need tires on here. Okay, if you guys need to slow that part of the video down, go ahead. But let's go ahead and get into the ultimate drift setup. So... Uh, for your suspension, your front spring length is going to be 8, your rear spring length is going to be 6, your front and rear spring stiffness are going to be 110, your front and rear uh, fast, wait, your front and rear damper fast bump are going to be at 2,250, your front and rear damper fast rebound are going to be at 6,500, your front and rear damper bump are going to be at 3,500, your front and rear uh, rebound are going to be at 1,300, front and rear, er, front toe 0 0.40, rear toe negative 0 0.20, front camera negative 5.45, Rear camera negative 2.98 or lower. I'm gonna actually make mine a little bit lower because I don't want like that much camber. Uh, front and rear anti roll bar 45. The reason it adjusted is because we lowered the car so the camber increased. But like I said, I try to keep between negative one and negative two for the rear. And then for the front, it's really just you know whatever you're comfortable with. But try to keep a lot of co uh, you want to try to keep a lot of the, uh, contact patch so I don't give it like too much or it won't be able to like turn very well or you know because you want to be having as much as the tire touching the ground as possible i only run camera on cars for like style to be honest but front and rear entry roll bar 45 cast strat 10 acumen angle 25 percent max steering angle 60 degrees for the wheels your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 21 front and rear tire 325 uh front tire pressure 160 rear tire pressure 170 front and rear wheel adhesion 120 i'll do a test with each adhesion front and rear base 11 uh, front and rear tire profile 25% for the engine, turn everything all the way up to max. For the transmission, diff lock ratio is going to be 1.00, final drive is going to be 3.70, gear 1 is going to be 3.70, gear 2 is going to be 1.55, gear 3 is going to be 1.21, gear 4 is going to be 1.10, gear 5 is going to be 0 0.82, and gear 6 is going to be 0 0.68. Which we could actually bring this up a little bit, so let's go ahead and bring that up. Let's bring this up a little bit to like there, and then we're going to just go ahead and bring let gear up to about there. All right, so that should be good. We're going to do a quick test on it to see, though. And then for the brakes, I haven't adjusted the brakes yet. <clears throat> Your brakes are going to be 3,500. And for the brake torque, is 3,500. Firm brake by 70%. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to test out and see if each gear is running good. So... Okay, so it seems like after fifth gear, it starts to lose a bit of power. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick adjustment really quick. Let's go ahead and put this here. Raise this up a little bit. That right about right there. Put this right about here. Let's go ahead and try this. Alright, so that's much better now. So the car is fixed, which is good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take it to an actual track right there. Uh, it was just a speed test. So, you know, but uh, doing that track to test your car, I don't suggest it because that track is very, very weird. The walls are all uneven, so it makes it really difficult to do an accurate test. So where I'm going to test my car today is going to be on Red Rock. But before we get into that, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my headlights. I'm going to change my headlight color. See, let's go ahead and put that nice little color right there. 
raise the angle and the brightness. Let me turn on the hazard lights. Volume all the way up. Okay. Let me see about this too. Let me see. Uh, okay, well, that actually looks kind of cool. Maybe we'll use. Mm, hold on, wait. Let me see. Which one looks good? Looks better without this on. Okay, I'll use this one. I'll use this filter. Let's get into it. Or this weather, not filter, but it looks like a filter low key. So as you guys can see, even though it has like a ton of horsepower, I made it have really, really good control. Sheesh. All right, let's get this run going. I'm going to do a run on here. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the build, man. All right, so as you guys can see, it's a pretty clean build. Last thing I'm gonna do is try to throw a reverse entry. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, that did not work. We need more space. I'm trying to throw a reverse entry so I can show you guys. Maybe we should switch the map real quick, but I wanna show you guys that it can do reverse entries because it does pretty good reverse entries. Let's go to use Toge, try to throw a reverse entry here. As you guys can see, it holds a mean reverse entry. Remember when you're throwing reverse entries in this car, you don't want to be in too high of a gear or you may spin out. That was a weak reverse entry. That was so weak. All seven gears. That was a good reverse entry. Oh my God. All right, so there you guys have it, man. This has been your boy, Ty Skids, playing Car Extra Racing Online. And today I showed you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the Spark ZR. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more banger content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.